even start drawing the cross diagram, we need to determine how many electrons this particular element has. And how would I know how many electrons it has? Now back to your atomic structure, we know that in an atom, the number of protons and electrons must be the same. Now in the periodic table that you have in exam, okay, you can just refer to the key to know what each of the number represent. All right. So the top of the number actually is the proton number or not, we can say it's an atomic number, which means it is the number of protons. Now in an atom, number of protons and number of electrons are the same. And hence, we can safely say that the number at the top also represents the number of electrons in an atom. Now let's try the next one, water. We know that hydrogen has one electron, okay? So let's draw a cross to represent that. So each of the hydrogen has one electron. Oxygen has eight electrons, all right? Two electrons are in the first shell. The second shell has six electrons. So we know that hydrogen has only one shell and it needs one more electron to attain the noble gas electronic configuration. For oxygen, it has two shells. Okay, so the second shell needs to have eight electrons to attain the noble gas electronic configuration. So what they can do is each of my hydrogen just share its one electron and oxygen share two of its electron to each of the hydrogen. So a dot and cross diagram for a water molecule will look like this. O, Now, if the question asks for um, only the outermost electrons, then what you can do is omit the inner shell and show only the outermost electrons, right? So this is what you can draw. Now, from here, let's convert this to structural formula. So you can see that there's only two electrons shared between hydrogen and oxygen and another two electrons shared between the other hydrogen and the oxygen. So between each of these hydrogen and oxygen, there is only one bond, all right? So we can draw this. So this will be the structural formula. Now you realize that in most of the uh, structural formula that you have seen, this water molecule usually have this V shape, okay? At all levels, this is not particularly important we will only learn about how these atoms arrange themselves in a molecule at A levels. Okay, you'll only learn that in detail. At O levels, if you draw something like this, a straight line, you shouldn't be fought. Because what is important is whether you know how many bonds are shared between the atoms rather than the shape of the molecule. Now, if you find this video useful, please share with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video. If you'd like to have more chemistry resources, do check out my website. The link is in the description below. Now have fun learning chemistry and I will see you soon.